The animation industry will change forever thanks to this brand new tool called Toon Crafter that allows you to animate between two frames automatically as well as colorize an entire sequence with only two frames of reference. And you can use that tool on your computer right now. And today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is Kay, your Air Overload and sit down because we are in the best timeline. Because Toon Crafter is really an amazing tech that wasn't even possible years ago. And yet, now you can run it today on your local computer or by renting a GPU for a few cents an hour. And it is just glorious. And I will show you how to do that today. So to install the software locally, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer for my Patreon supporters. Just download the files onto your computer, then double-click on the ToonCrafter auto installed file, which will then ask which version of ToonCrafter you want to install. And you have two options, either the normal model, that is only if you have a GPU with more than 24 gigabytes to VRAM or the small model if you have at least 16GB of VRAM for fast inference. But don't worry even if you don't have a powerful GPU, I will show you later how to use RunPod to use the software. So in my case, let's say I have a 4090, I can just press 1 for the normal model and then press enter. And then it will install everything automatically. And after the install is finished, you will see here a local URL that if you press control then left click, the web UI will open in your browser ready to be used. You don't have to do anything, simple as that. Oh, and also don't forget to put the launcher to uncrafted.bat file inside the Toon Crafter folder, so that next time you want to launch Toon Crafter, you can just double click on the file, which will then give you the local URL, that you could then open and use the web UI again. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. So first make sure that you have Python installed, preferably the 3.10.11 version, make sure that you also have installed CUDA, FFmpeg and Git for Windows. So once you have all of those installed, you need to choose which repository you want to install. So if you have more than 24 gigabytes of VRAM, you're gonna choose the normal Toon Crafter repository, but if you have a GPU with 16 gigabytes of VRAM or less, you're gonna use my repository instead. And since I know most of you don't have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, I made sure to make the installation as easy as possible. So basically, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, then you're gonna click on this little icon, and then click Clone Repository, and then click on this little icon to copy this entire line. Then inside one of your folders, you're gonna click on the folder path, type CMD, press Enter, which will read the command prompt window, and here you're gonna copy and paste the command line that we just copied and then press enter, which will then clone the repository onto your computer. So from there, we're gonna go inside the folder, then create a new Python environment, then we're gonna activate the environment, and once this is done, we're gonna install the requirements. So then you're gonna click the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, where you're gonna see the model.ckpt file that you're gonna download onto your computer, and once you have the file downloaded, you're gonna select it, Control X to cut it, then you're gonna go inside the checkpoints, Toon Crafter folder, and then paste the model right here. And now that we are inside the folder, we can just run the graduate.py file, and just like last time, it will give you a local URL that you can run in your browser. And now we can finally have some fun. And the way to use this is actually very simple. So first you're gonna upload your first frame, your first image, then here you're gonna upload the second image, then here you're gonna input a prompt, so if you don't know what to put, I highly suggest something like very generic like an anime scene that they use right here themselves then you can choose like a random seed you can leave pretty much everything by default and then click generate and in the end you get something like this so yeah i mean pretty cool and this is done with only two images now obviously this is not perfect this is only like you know, still very early tech, the resolution is not very high, and it can only generate 2 seconds of animation. But I mean, as they say themselves, just calm down, just chill, it's still a work in progress. And currently in the demo, we don't even have the reference-based sketch colorization, which apparently should come out pretty soon, because the new models were already uploaded a few days ago, so this is really just a question of time before the repository is updated. But yeah, I mean, as I said, do not expect anything crazy, but having this tech just work right now on your local computers is really super incredible. Especially because apparently you don't even need to have like an anime 2D video to work because here they even try like a 3D video game animation and it worked just fine. So this tech has a lot of potential. Now obviously as I said to be able to use this tool you need to have a pretty good GPU with at least 14 to 15 gigabytes of VRAM. But don't worry even if you don't have a powerful for GPU, you can still use this software right now. And you can do that by simply renting a GPU for a few cents an hour. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And the website 
headset that I highly recommend you to use is called RunPod. Now, if you've never heard about RunPod before, it's an absolutely amazing website that I used for years to rent GPUs and install a bunch of stuff on this, like Stable Diffusion, LLMs, and everything in between. This website is absolutely fantastic and really super cheap. So if you don't have an account already, you can just click the description down below and sign up for RunPod, create an account, then you're gonna click on pods, then click deploy. And here to save as much money as possible, I highly recommend you to choose the community cloud and filter by extreme internet speed, which should make the loads a bit faster. Then you're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna choose at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM for the GPU. And in my case, I will simply use a 3090, which costs like 26 cents an hour, which should be like more than a Enough. So you're gonna select this, click change template and choose the RunPod PyTorch 2.1. Make sure that you have selected on demand and then click deploy on demand and it will then build your pod. So now you can just click on my pods, click on this little arrow and wait for everything to be initialized. And then once everything is done, once everything is running, you're gonna click on connect and then click on connect to Jupyter Lab. And from this point on, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, these few steps will be extremely easy for you because for you I prepared that one click installer for RunPod that will do everything automatically. So basically just take this file and drag it, drop it right here. And then you're gonna click on terminal and then you will copy and paste these two command lines that you will find in your Patreon post and then press enter. And it will install everything automatically. You don't need to do anything. Just go make a coffee and come back once the installation is finished. So then in the end, once everything is finished, you should get a public URL that if you click on it, will give you access to the web UI as if this was running on your local computer. Simple as that. You really don't need to do anything, but I'm gonna show you how to do it manually as well. So first what you want to do is click on terminal, then we're gonna clone the repository, then go inside the ToonCrafter folder, then we're gonna install the requirements, then here we're gonna create two folders, checkpoints and ToonCrafter 512 interp v1, then we're gonna go inside that folder, then we're gonna use this command to download the model, then we're gonna go back to the main folder, next you're gonna double click on the gradio.py file, then you're gonna scroll down to the very last line where here, after max threads equals 1, you're gonna write comma share equals true and then you're gonna save the file so control s and now we're gonna go back and run the gradio app.py file and once again just like last time it will give you a public url that if you click on it that once again you can use as if this was running on your local computer so once again just input the first image then input the second one just input a prompt and then click generate and after a few seconds we get something like this i mean my god, this is amazing. This is insane that we have access to this technology for absolutely free. This is just crazy. So yeah, I mean, there you go. You definitely need to try this out yourself. Now, obviously, it's not perfect, but it's definitely really, really cool. Oh, and also don't forget that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. The link for my Patreon will be down below. So yeah, there you go. This was Toon Crafter. An absolutely amazing animation software that will change the animation industry. And although this is still like a demo version and it's still like a work in progress because we still don't even have like the kind of the best feature in my opinion, the reference based sketch colorization. But as they say themselves, this is coming. This is still a work in progress. And I'm sure that very, very soon we should get more news from that software. But in the meantime, definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we have it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.